Let's start by adding 2 cups of cooked rice to the blender. Don't waste any more rice in your home. If you have leftover rice, make this delicious recipe. Let's now add 50 milliliters of water. 2 whole eggs. And 50 grams of grated mozzarella cheese. Let's cover the blender and mix well. We have already mixed very well and now we are going to season with a pinch of black pepper. A teaspoon of salt. Let's cover and mix again. Remembering that this dough can be a little heavy for the blender, so if this happens, just add a little more water and mix little by little with the blender's pulse mode, is that okay? That's the point of our rice dough, now we're going to transfer everything to a pan lightly greased with olive oil. Now, with the help of a spatula, we will spread this dough very well throughout the pan. It's important to spread it in such a way that it doesn't end up being too thin, but it also shouldn't be too thick, okay? And our dough should look like this in the pan, now just add a little olive oil on top. You can use a kitchen brush to spread it and then we'll bake it in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Now let's fry a chicken breast cut into small cubes, I add a little olive oil to the pan to fry the chicken. Let's season with a teaspoon of salt. A little black pepper. And also a little smoked paprika, remembering that all the seasonings are to taste, okay? Now let's mix and fry the chicken. Now let's add two crushed garlic cloves. Approximately half an onion chopped into small pieces. And I will also add 200 grams of tomato sauce. Friends, I'm sure you've never seen this recipe, it's an old rice pizza, it's delicious and I'm sure everyone will love the result. After mixing everything, cover and let it cook for 3 minutes. Our rice dough has already baked and look how beautiful it turned out. It's unbelievable that this pasta was made with old rice. Now let's take our cooked chicken to fill our pizza, but first I'll show you how crispy our pizza turned out. Look how delicious. Now just add our chicken on top of our dough, remembering that you can make it with the filling of your choice, such as tuna, shredded chicken, whatever you like most. I'll finish filling our pizza and be right back. Now, to give it a special touch, I'm going to add grated mozzarella cheese on top of our pizza, the amount is to taste, but the cheese cannot be missing. If you like pizza with lots of cheese leave it below, I love pizza with cheese. I added oregano on top of our cheese and now just put it in the oven again until the cheese melts. Our old rice pizza is ready and look how beautiful and delicious it turned out. I'm going to cut and serve our pizza, friends, and you will see what a wonderful recipe we just made. The dough is super crispy and the filling is very tasty. If you make this recipe, no one will imagine it was made from old rice. After this recipe you will no longer waste rice in your house, friends, you will always want to make it with different flavors. And look how delicious. Let's try. The best time of all has come, it's time to try our recipe, this wonderful rice pizza. My God! It was delicious. Wonderful. Make this recipe at home and everyone will love it.